Well, viewers, welcome once again to my channel, Fox Business. My name is Ofusu Godwin, a marketing professional and a marketing trainer. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get new customers. As a small business, as a business, you will not always have to depend on existing customers. You need to get new customers. So in this video, I'm going to show you some basic techniques on how to get customers for your business if you're not subscribed to my channel yet hit the subscribe button and subscribe don't forget to comment share and like fox business is the name of the channel the first thing we're going to talk about is treating existing customers well and satisfying existing customers you see when existing customers are satisfied and are well treated and are given the best of care and customer service they then tend to become advocates of your brand and tend to go out there and advocate about your brand through word of mouth and referrals right it is important to satisfy your current customers and keep satisfying them and treat them well so that they become ambassadors for your business in fact a lot of business have benefited from their existing customers some customers would make reviews about your product on either maybe on the internet on your social media page or maybe on even on your Google my business page or your Google search page and this will go a long way to enable you to get new customers a lot of customers read or watch reviews before basically taking a decision to buy by treating existing customers very well you stand that chance as a matter of fact of getting new customers to patronize your product it is better to develop a reward system for such existing customers develop a referral system where these existing customers are as a matter of fact rewarded for bringing in new customers for introducing your business to new customers so treating your existing customers well satisfying your existing customers can make you win new business as they become advocates for your brand or for your products and services and through word of mouth and reviews and referrals you can get new customers the next thing to do is to build and expand your network one of the surest way to grow your business and to get new customers is to network quality network you can join local chambers of commerce local trade associations and even if you have kids in school, you can join PTA, you can take advantage of the PTA meetings, Princess Association meetings, to also introduce your business to various parents. You can also join groups that are related to your product. So for example, if you are into selling, let's say, sports products or sportswear, you can join the various sports clubs or you can build some kind of a network with various sports clubs. Sometimes engage in their activities and that would be another way of trying to or that would be another way of you reaching out to new customers you can also attend events attend events to host network events you can host network events you can even host facility visits by inviting some of these group members to visit your business place if you have a physical brick and mortar business place right and this will go a long way in helping you to get new customers you can as well use your expertise as a matter of fact to also generate new customers you can host workshops you can host seminars seminars are very effective I have tried it and it worked for me seminar could bring in new customers you invite people to join the seminar and then one advantage is that you end up getting data for free so you get data I mean voluntary data sometimes you can even get behavioral data from these customers or these potential customers and you can use that to reach out to them through email through whatsapp and many other means of um, communicating with potential customers and in a way you'll be able to generate new customers you can also do online programs with social media and related digital technologies there are a lot of ways that you can do or you can host events you can do podcasts for example twitter space which is free you can do linkedin events facebook live 
Instagram Live, and so on and so forth, TikTok, etc. And this will enable you to share your expertise, right? It will also help you to grow your connections and your network and create brand awareness, right? It is also important as part of your networking to also build partnership with companies that produce complementary business. So, for example, if you produce, let's say, pizza, you have a pizza business, you can network with a pub, right, or a restaurant, or a bar, and then run what we call co-marketing or co-branding efforts together. And this will enable you to also get new customers as you both combine your efforts to build your brand together. Another thing that you can also do to generate new customers is product trials. Free product trials is also a very good technique to get potential and new customers. Make the potential customers experience your brand value at first hand. This may lead to interest. Some of the customers who try the product might generate interest or might get interest in your product because of maybe probably the positive value that they experience trying your product. And this may lead to awareness, interest, and then maybe even taking an action by even purchasing. I have seen people try a product and then in a matter of minutes, they make a purchase. Another good thing with product trials is that you would get feedback from the product trials. And this would be very good for you in the sense that you'll be able to use this information as a matter of fact to redevelop your product. If they find problems with your product, if they find issues with your product, this will be another way of getting feedback on the performance of your product. And it can help you in product improvement and your quality improvement efforts. Product trials works very well because the potential customer tends to experience the product. This is not a matter of the potential customer watching a video of your product or reading a literature or an ebook about your product, but he has first hand, real world first hand experience of your brand. So, for example, if you're into catering, you can invite a few people around, maybe to do some pizza tasting or cake tasting or some any food that you think you can i mean prepare for the target audience to come have a feel or a taste of it with this you would be able to get that information and be able to reach out to these potential customers and convert them another benefit you can also get from product trials is that after the product trials you can encourage them to also leave reviews on your social media pages you can encourage them to leave reviews on your google page and in any other business pages that you have. Another thing that you can use to get new customers is social media. With the rise of technology, the internet and related digital technologies, social media is going virtually everywhere. With social media, you can reach anywhere in the world. The good thing about social media is that it's very interactive. So you can use social media to also generate new or get new customers through its interactive nature. You can have accounts on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok, and other social media platforms. Create good content, photos, short videos, and graphics. Combination of this, videos have been tested to be very effective especially short videos ensure that your content is consistent with your brand personality and your brand value always publish consistent at least you can publish once a day and ensure that your and ensure that your content appeals to your target audience if you are dealing with children, you should know the type of content that you should use for children. If you are dealing with adults, you should know the type of adult content that you need to produce. 
or the type of content you need to produce right ensure that your content is likable and credible and accentuate your brand value explain the benefits of your product not only the features of your product with the advent of mobile phones you can easily create videos using even your own cell phone there are a lot of video editing apps there you can use to edit them picture editing apps a lot of apps there using building flyers and so on and so forth always don't forget to add call to action to your content for example sign up now call us now email us get a code etc right also use what we call hashtags hashtags in the description of your content describe your content talk to your audience what your content is about right hashtags are more or less used as search engine tools when it comes to social media people use hashtag to search for products so for example if people want to search for food sellers or snack bars you can just go hashtag snack bars and you'll find all posts concerning snack bars in the um, the results is very effective try to also look out for competitive competing brands follow their followers message their followers and reach out to their followers with your flyers etc you can even as a matter of fact, talk about product trials invite some of their, their followers to come try your product like the post and comments of these followers and try to position your brand on quality and reliability Ensure that your brand identity and assets, i.e. your logo, brand dress, brand color, etc. is consistent in every message that you send out there. You can use a combination of emotional base appeal and rational base appeal. What I mean by this is that you can use a, a combination of humor and then other messages or content that explains how your product works and so on and so forth. Right. In this way, you will be on your way in getting new customers also respond to comments be responsive if you watch some social media pages or talk, like Facebook for example Facebook as a matter of fact states your pages I mean health in a way whether you are responsive or not responsive so it is important to always be responsive to comments and so on and so forth as they arise you can also join groups on social media these groups have large number of group members and what one good thing about groups is that you will have groups that are related to your product and these are direct target audience or target market for your product some of these groups have 50,000 100,000 people and the impression rates are very high and it's very effective in this way you'll be able to generate and get new customers don't forget to track the performance of your content it's very important to get to know which content is working and which is not working all the social media I mean platforms have free analytics that you can as a matter of fact hone on to check on the performance of every post the last thing I'm going to talk about is to study your competitors if you don't know your competitors then you might not know what you are doing get to know your competitors identify your competitors weak points look at their marketing mix the product ring that they are selling out there what is missing within their product you can even buy some of their products and try to do some research and analysis about what is missing about their product look at their pricing are they charging too high are they enjoying some form of market leadership or some form of a monopoly look at their promotion strategies are they only using social media they are using offline media and so on and so forth look at their distribution systems and delivery systems and this is also going to help you to understand the competitive landscape is there a rivalry within the market that you are in is there something new you can do to look different on the market or be differentiated from the market thank you very much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe button and subscribe don't forget to comment, share, and like, and watch out for my next video.